Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video I wanted to talk about the new items that were released recently not the direct sale items from the spring event but the ones before that with the ultimate cartel pack and the dark honor guard weapons and the new armor sets because that was introducing a whole new take on how the cartel market was going to work now going into the future where they just release everything via direct sale and the cartel packs were revamped completely and so I wanted to take a look at what those actually sell for on the GTN so in this video I'm going to show you guys what I actually sold these items for on the on the Satil Shan server. I bought up most of these items, put them up on the GTN just to see what they were actually selling for. And this is on the Satil Shan server. From my experience, these items are actually selling for higher on the Darth Malgus and the Starforge server. So what you guys see here is actually kind of on the low end of what you can get for this. If you're on the other two main servers, you could actually get higher prices. But the point of this video is to look at how the new system of working with cartel packs and direct sales has impacted the GTN and the price of all these items. So we're going to jump in here and now see uh, what I was actually able to sell these for. So as you guys can see, I have 22 mail items here, and these are all uh, successful item sales of a ton of items that I sold. So looking here, we've got the Dark Honor Guard's Curved Vibro Sword. This actually sold for 19 million credits, and of that, I received 17.5 million. And remember, this is an item that costs 1,100 cartel coins. It's just a gold weapon, so that's a really high price for just that. We have the Flare, the Sign of Prosperity, sold for the same amount of credits, and this is actually even cheaper. This only costs 1,000 cartel coins. Uh, here we have the Corellian pilot stuff, so the gauntlets, just the gauntlets, sold for 3 million. That to me is insane. This is a silver armor set. The boots sold for 5 million credits, um, so I received 4.6 million of that. The jacket sold for 7 million credits. This is a silver armor set. And what I can actually say is if this had been released in a cartel pack, this entire armor set would have sold for around 500k. The Sith Cultus is actually the gold one, and as you guys can see here, the pants sold for 10 million credits, and uh, the robes here sold for 15 million credits. So, um, you know, just for a gold armor set, that's pretty decent. And then we have the Force Apprentice, which is the other silver one, the pants selling for a little bit less there, only 3 million. We have the uh, boots that sold for 5 million, the tunic, so the upper body armor sold for 15 million. And um, those were the armor sets, basically. So those were pretty good. We'll also talk about the Ultimate Cartel Pack quickly here, because this is insane. I sold those for 4.5 million a pop. And one guy kind of came and just bought up all of them. I'll actually show you, guys, show you guys a little bit later in this video. I sold like 20 more on my, um, on my Mercenary for about 3 million a pop. So they're selling for anywhere from 3 to 4 million on the Satyo Shan server, which is an insane price for, a, um, for just a Cartel Pack. And the Dark Honor Guard's Unstable Saber sold here for 94, or I sold for 103 million. Of that, I received 94 million. And when the GTN's taking a cut of 8.24 million credits from you, you know you sold big there. Here's another person that bought actually a few Ultimate Cartel Packs as well. Ah, and here's the curved vibro staff. So this once again is a gold weapon that only costs 1100 cartel coins and it's sold here for 25 million credits. That is an insanely good cartel um, coin to credit conversion rate. Now, if you guys noticed, those sales were actually from a few days ago, so at least five or six days ago. So I thought I'd jump on the GTN here and quickly check what the prices are going for right now, because that was over a week ago. And the reason I waited so long uh, to make this video was to really see how the prices were going to stabilize over time. And as you guys can see, they're still maintaining their very high prices. We saw the curved Vibra Sword for uh, 35 million. We have the double bladed version for 42 million. The Platinum Unstable Saber is still up there at like 90 million credits and looking at the silver armor sets like none of them on the GTN they're like none of them on the GTN uh, the force apprentice here you only have like one tuning for 34 million we have the um, Krellian pilot we just have the single armor boxes so there's no uh, individual armor sets and um, what you guys actually see on the right here uh, in my cargo bay were the items that didn't sell. So I wasn't quite able to sell the supplementary body armor for the Sith Cultist and some of the silver pieces for the Corellian Pilot or the Force Apprentice. So those didn't sell too well. Here the flare is actually going for a lot more than what I sold it for. I sold it for 20 million. It's going up here for now 40 million credits. And then the ultimate packs, I believe, are probably going to be a little bit cheaper than what I sold it for. Here, they're down now to 3.8 million. As, as I mentioned, I ended up selling a ton on my Merc for 3 million. So um, the packs are definitely selling for a lot. I think the, um, 
the bottom line of this uh, video is these are these new items are selling for a lot more expensive than the, what than what they would have been if they had just been dropping from the cartel pack. I can tell you from experience, if these items had dropped from the cartel pack, the silver armor sets would be as low as like. 100,000 credits. Maybe if people really like the Force Apprentice or the Corellian Pilot, it would be like 500,000 credits to a million, but nothing near what it is up there for right now. And also the GTN would have been flooded. It would have been flooded with all these items. As you guys notice, it's very barren right now. There's only like one or two people actually offering those items anyway, and they can really set the price. The gold weapons would have been around um, 1 to 10 million, anywhere from there. The gold weapons would not be up there in the 20 to 30 million credit range. But, uh, but as you guys, as I showed in this video, they are actually selling that high of a price and they're very nice weapons. So for 1100 cartel coins, if you're selling it for like 20, 30 million credits, that is a conversion rate of at least one cartel coin for 20 to 30,000 credits. That is about as high of a conversion rate as you can expect for, uh, for the cartel market. I mean, a decent conversion rate is one cartel coin for 10 to 15,000 credits. So if it's 20 to 30,000 credits, then that means it's a really good conversion. And so, yeah, the weapons are selling for a lot higher. The unstable saber, I guess everyone kind of expected that to be up there in the range. So that's not much of a surprise. Um, and the cartel packs, as you guys are seeing on this video here, the cartel packs are selling for so much more than what they normally would. And what you're actually noticing in this video on my Merc here is a lot of different people were buying it up. So it wasn't just one person that came and bought up all 25 or 30 of my inventory. There were actually a number of people who were really interested in buying it at this price. And uh, normally cartel packs, you'll be lucky if you can fetch like 1.8 to 2 million credits for a cartel pack. So the fact that these ultimate packs are selling for so much more means that they are not only very popular, Popular, but people are just willing to pay the high prices for it the RNG is high enough to entice people to really gamble with this stuff and the RNG is really good as you guys saw on my hypercrate pack opening like I got tons of gold items so these do have a good chance at dropping good stuff which is probably why they're selling for such a high price and that kind of concludes the point of this video. I just want to let you guys know that while everyone is pretty distracted with the huge plethora of direct sale items we have, um, don't forget the new stuff. It actually sells for a lot. And the, and the whole new system of only putting it up for direct sale means that the GTN does, is not flooded. There are not a lot of people who are putting this up on the GTN for sale. And that also means that prices remain pretty high. And for those people who don't want to pay real money for their cartel coins, but they have credits to spend, they're going on the GTN and paying the high price prices for these items. So it might be something that you want to look into on your respective servers and see if perhaps that's offering you a better cartel coin to, to credit conversion rate than some of the other direct sale items during the spring event. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys found it informative. Let me know in the comment section what your guys' experiences have been. These, these were my experiences on the Satyo Shan server. So let me know if things are different on the Darth Malgus or Starforge, if maybe you've had even larger sales than what I've had. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.